Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Today we're going to be blasting New Orleans, Abysmal Lord, Exultion of the Infernal Cabal. Holy fucking shit. If you're a fan of bestial black death war metal, some of the best in the states right now alongside Caveman Cult, Crorfragrium, and Antichrist Siege Machine in my opinion, Abysmal Lord. Right next to those guys. Holy shit. This is some top shelf war metal. And I cannot recommend this enough. The vinyl is coming. Just hold your horses a little bit. But for now, grab the cassette on Hell's Headbangers. I think they have the CD as well. But just like the deceased ghostly white I think it's gonna take a couple months probably for the vinyl to be released so just you know I suggest checking out the cassette or the CD in advance but like if you're a fan of black death metal then yeah you're gonna fucking love abysmal lord seriously fucking wow and thank you Aaron for snagging this for me I couldn't get a ride eight miles to when they played Century, which still pisses me off. If it wouldn't have rained, I would have been fine, but God forbid someone help someone else out with a ride around here. I missed the fucking impure Antichrist Siege Machine show. That was not in Philadelphia, that was in New York, but I thought I had a ride situated, but again... Uh, I give up on that type of shit, but we'll see what happens with Cerebral Rot and Fetid. It looks like I do have a ride, maybe, to New York City, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. I have a buddy coming up from Florida that's probably helping me when it comes to getting to St. Vitus. So, fingers fucking crossed. But, thanks to John Randall, we get to go over these sick demos from Florida's Graveview. This is an awesome demo comp on Redefying Darkness and we have six tracks and all of Graveview's demos from 2018 to 2019. Sick fucking heavy death metal. And I really like you know, the whole Florida death metal thing down here. I think it's sick. FLDM. I feel like Florida has a sick death metal scene. It's just, for some reason, bands like Grave Ascension, hailing from Florida, I feel like have a hard time securing a drummer. Because otherwise, this is like my favorite Maggot Stomp release. And I would love, 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 love to have Sin Never Dies and the demo from 2015 on vinyl. But I don't think that's going to happen. But hopefully Grave Ascension secures a drummer and, you know, maybe get a full length done. Maybe get a new demo done. And then maybe that can get re-released and some more, you know, people will get into Grave Ascension because they're one of those bands that I feel are like so fucking sick that just don't get the credit I really feel they deserve. And these Graveview demos as well, I think it's awesome that Redefying Darkness, you know, went out of their way and released these demos on cassette once more and made everything available for everyone to enjoy. I mean, I'm sure there's a limited number of these. I'm not 100% sure what the number is because they're not hand numbered. But I really like the artwork. Everything about this is fucking sick. Like I said, the cosmetics are great here. Like, nice hard shell. This really, really sounds good as well. Just super high quality 
down-tuned death metal. It's fucking awesome. Like, as much as this sounds like a lot of your kind of stereotypical death metal bands that take a page out of Sweden's book, there's some obvious HM2 worship and nihilist early grave worship, but mostly... You know those autopsy riffs that are like Oh yeah, this is full of those and that's caveman shit. Seriously, that whole knuckle dragging death metal thing that everybody's obsessed with. To me, those are those riffs that like Cuz I just picture some like you know, Neanderthal just like all just like banging around like woo, 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 woo. like if you've ever seen Vastum live just keep an eye on fucking Dan and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about especially when Vastum go into those like straight up Neanderthal death metal parts because like Dan's very intimidating too. He's like fucking seven feet tall and he's just like lurking around and he's just all stoked and I love it. If you ever get to see Vastum live, do it. They are the fucking shit live. But do not have merchandise. Seriously, this is a heads up in case you're you're seeing Vastum at Killtown Death Fest this year. Do not Seriously, do not have your merchandise on you during Vastum set. Trust me on this. Like, if you have somebody that wants to stand in the back, they might not even be safe. So make sure that you put all of your breakables away before Vastum play. Because it doesn't matter where you stand. Dan is going to jump on top of you. No matter what, he's probably going to get crowd surfed over you while not missing a single lyric. But when it comes to Graveview, I really, really love the A side of things, but also the B side's fucking awesome. Both demos are fucking great. Voices of suffering are silenced as pleas of mercies become dust in their mouths. Fucking awesome quote slash lyric right there. And we have some awesome artwork by Tomorrow Ghost. The layout here is by Mike Sweeney. I'm not sure why they just have one member of the band in the photo. But it might be a one-man band and everyone else are hired musicians. I don't really know. I didn't do too much research into Graveview outside of re-listening to these demos repeatedly. But that was pretty much about it. But on these demos, we have Hunter on vocals. The vocals are amazing. But at the same time, it's kind of your typical death metal vocal delivery, which there's nothing wrong with that because Graveview is death metal for fans of death metal. This is nothing fucking crazy, experimental. This is just death fucking metal from Florida, and it's fucking sick. On guitar, we also have Kendrick and Dylan. Bass, we have Aaron, and drums, we have Mike. And this was engineered, mixed, and mastered by Hunter Young at Somai Media. And the layouts by Mike Sweeney. Sick shit. Really, really love the artwork. I love the whole entire just layout. Super, super sick. Look at that fucking dude just hanging out above the cemetery, probably. Because he has a nice graveside view. But seriously, this is an awesome, awesome compilation of sickening demos over the past two years, pretty much. 
and we have Selective Mortality. Awesome song title. Grotesquery, Descent into Filth, Inconceivable Possession, Unrivaled Punishment, and Armageddon of Insanity. I'm not sure what an Armageddon is, but it sounds fucking cool. Great View Demos 2018 to 2019 on Redefining Darkness Records. If you're a fan of death metal, sla <laughs> snag this purple analog atrocity on Redefining Darkness Records. If this is not purple and it's blue, I apologize. I'm a little bit what you would call colorblind in that to me this just looks purple. And if it is purple, cool, but part of me wants to say that this is blue. But I don't really know because I'm colorblind, according to the doctor. I don't like admitting I'm colorblind because I can tell that's red and black. Like, I hope it's red and black, but yeah. Anyways, sick shit from Florida. I love when sickening death metal comes out of the Florida swamps. Has a little bit of a Swedish vibe to it, but mostly this is in the tradition of America death metal, and it's fucking sick. Grave View Demos 2018 to 2019 on Redefined Darkness Records. Thank you, John Randall, for sending that my way, and thank you to Aaron for sending the new Abysmal Lord my direction as well. Exultion of the Infernal Cabal. Fuck yes, I cannot get over how good this is. Like seriously, if you're a fan of bestial black death metal, you can't go wrong with the new abysmal lord. Fuck yeah. Whoops. But, like I was saying, if you're a fan of death metal, check out Grave Views demos and I guarantee you'll find something to totally enjoy about this reissued comp of demos over the past two years. Fuck yeah. And thank you all at home for watching, you fucking rule. Hells yes.